the Xenox herding pictures, the path to enlightenment. A Zen classic from the 12th century, with annotations by Zensho W. Kopp. There is no book which illustrates the teachings of Zen as clearly as the Ten Ox Herding pictures of Zen. They explain it completely and reveal the profound truth of Zen. Seeking the Ox Desolate in the endless wilderness of this world, he cleaves his way through the tall grass in search of his ox, following nameless rivers, lost on the intertwining paths of mountains afar. Utterly exhausted, his heart is in despair, he cannot find the ox. In the evening mist he hears only the chirping of the cicadas, discovering the tracks. Beside the river, under the trees, he discovers the ox's tracks. Even amid the fragrant grass, he sees its trail. No matter how far the ox may go, even as far as into the deepest canyons of remote mountains, the trail can no more be hidden than one's own nose looking heavenward. Finding the ox. The nightingale's singing echoes lucidly. The sun shines softly, the breeze is mild, the willows by the river are green. There stands the ox, no longer can anything conceal it. Yet which artist can paint this majestic head with its magnificent horns? Harnessing the ox. Firmly he grips the ox's reins and holds on tight with all his strength. Its will is still too strong and its power still too tumultuous for him to banish its wildness. It storms aloft to the higher plains, high above the misty clouds, or it stands in a pathless gorge. Taming the ox. Whip and rein are required. He must not let go for one instant or the ox would run off along the dusty road. However, well tamed, it becomes patient and docile. Without rope and reins, it willingly follows the herder. Returning home on the ox's back. In cheerful serenity, he rides sedately back home on the ox's back. In the distant receding evening mists, the sound of his flute continues to resound. The verse in time with his song is endlessly deep in meaning. Does he still need words? Who understands the deep meaning? The ox is forgotten. On the ox's back, he rides home, yet behold, the ox is no longer to be seen. Alone, the herder sits in cheerful, relaxed silence. The day is dawning, and the red sun is already high in the sky. The intense brilliance of the clear light shines since time immemorial. In his straw-covered house, whip and rain lie idle. 
ox and herder are forgotten. Whip, rain, ox and the herder have completely dissolved into nothing. Endlessly vast is the deep blue sky. No words could ever describe it. So can a snowflake exist in a blazing fire? When he has reached there, he encounters the mind of the old patriarchs of Zen. Having returned to the origin, He has returned to the origin, yet his steps were in vain. Better were he from the beginning on to have been as though blind and deaf, dwelling in his true abode without longing for the external. The river flows as it flows, the red flowers are red of their own accord. Entering the market with open hands, Bare-chested and with naked feet, he mingles with the people at the marketplace. With a ragged, dusty clothes, his laugh covers his whole face. Without performing miracles, he causes withered trees to blossom. This classic of Zen literature from the 12th century belongs to the fundamental and essential works of Zen Buddhism. The book portrays the spiritual path to realization by means of a story, illustrated in picture and verse, of an ox herder searching for his lost ox, his true self. Zen Master Zensho's invaluable annotations are an expression of his enlightened consciousness, exceptionally clear, readily understood and true to life. They are highly practical and a unique orientation aid on the path to self-realization. For the first time, Zen Shou's enlightening explanations give us a new opening to a clear understanding of the mystical meaning of the ten ox herding pictures of Zen.